Do you want to know how amazing people connect? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Market You with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. like what you hear, please share. Special thank you to our sponsors today, Farmers Insurance and Kerry Whitlatch Agency of Lebanon, Oregon. For more information, call 541-258-3995. And D. Scott Smith and Author Interviews. For great author interviews, go to motivationallistener.live. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. Hey, so glad you've joined us today. You know, I'm super excited about my guest today. So Luke Jean Luis is a good friend from New York who is a super master connector. He's the connector of all master connectors. He goes beyond connecting. He's a 24-7 connector. <laughs> I don't know that anybody has connected me with so many people in my entire life as, as Luke has. So he's going to be great to speak to today. And, you know, we talk to amazing people who connect on this show. So, hey, Luke had to be on this show because he is that. So anyway, just wanted to let you know a little bit about me before we get rolling in case you have not tuned in before. Um, And let me remind you, by the way, if you're watching this on replay, which I know most people do, please share it. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. When you, uh, every Monday and Thursday, 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, we're on. Set your reminder. Remember, we're on because there are amazing people on every week and you can learn so much from them. So, anyway, my name is Russ Hedge. I am an inspiration specialist. I'm a coach, I'm a motivational speaker. I love people. I love to connect. And so you can connect with me simply by going to RussHedge.com. That's right. I keep it real simple. RussHedge.com has all my contact information from my social media to my email to my phone number. You can even schedule time to connect directly with me. You can schedule time on my calendar. It'll send you a Zoom link and we can get to know each other. And I would love to do that. So I do that today. Connect with me. Also, I am the author of Befuddled, live the life you choose. That's right. And as you saw on one of my sponsors today, D. Scott Smith, um, I did an author interview with him recently on Amazon Live, and I've done a couple of those. And love to encourage people through this book. It's all about living the life you choose. So today, get a copy from Amazon or uh, any online booksellers. You can also, if you're in the Oregon or Southwest Washington area, you can buy that locally as well at several locations. So uh, uh, that would be awesome if you do that. Also, I just came out with my companion workbook that is the companion workbook too, Befuddled, Live the Life You Choose. It helps you get the full benefit out of that. And I would love to come in and do a workshop with your team and help encourage you. And we can do that straight from that workbook. So anyway, you can pick that up uh, in ebook form today on Amazon. The book you can get either in paperback or ebook form. So enough about me. I'm super excited to bring Luke in this morning. We're going to just jump right in and say, hey, here he comes. Hey, Luke. Hey, hi, Russ. Russ. How's How's it going? I am so good. How are you? 
I'm doing I'm great. Doing I'm very great. excited I'm very to be excited here. To be actually, here. I'm actually, actually a little nervous. nervous. This is actually this my, is actually second, my uh, second podcast, uh, podcast interview, interview ever. ever. <laughs> definitely will be well, the last. Will be the last uh, definitely. definitely. <laughs> You're second with somebody else, but you do your own podcast all the time. Yes, that's, abs- yes, that's, that's absolutely, absolutely that's true. Absolutely but, true for some, but for some reason, I still get a little nervous and so you know the, your show is amazing your show is great uh, i actually had you as a guest on my show uh, and you were actually it was one of the best interviews i've ever done and uh you know you've also written a book which i think is, is which is amazing i love people who are authors i think everyone should write a book so i think, I think that's incredible eventually i'd love to write a book about what i've learned from all the guests that i've interviewed so yeah it's definitely something definitely i want to do I wanna yeah do. Yeah, you are too, too kind and such a nice, kind gentleman. I appreciate you. And uh, I'll take the positive input. That's always good. Uh, So, and I am so glad to have you here today. Just to let you know, you're breaking up a little bit. So um, I don't know if there's anything we can do about that. But we're just going to push forward and keep moving. I just, uh, you know, there are so many great things about connecting with others. And you have tapped into that mm. because, you know, life, we are, we are social beings and we're built on connection. So I want you to go back a little bit, tell us a little bit about Luke and tell us how you got to where you are now and doing your whole connection and your podcasting thing. So give us a little info on you. Sure. Uh, thanks a lot for, for inviting me to be on. This is an amazing experience by far. I, to my story I, starts my off, story starts uh, off uh, I guess, with my parents. Guess with my they parents, immigrated they... to this country from Haiti. So I'm sort of the first generation to be born here in this amazing country, this land of opportunity. And they made the, the right decision to leave Haiti to come here. So I'm so thankful for that. So I was born and raised in New York City. Uh, I've lived in Manhattan my whole entire life. I love Manhattan. And, and I, growing, I, up, I growing up, I went to Catholic school, school from first grade, first all, the grade all the way to college. I also uh, went to uh, business uh, school. I, uh, for years, I worked in sales. Uh, I had some success there. But then I, um, I switched to customer service because it was a better fit for my personality and less stressful. Uh, but then I realized what I wanted to do uh, was perhaps exit the rat race. And uh, But one of the ways to, to get to where you want to go is you want to have connections. You want to network. And, and whatnot. And you want to build an audience, have lots of friends before you even start selling anything to them. So I read this great book uh, by a gentleman named Steve Gordon called Unstoppable Referrals. Uh, he basically was able to build a strong network by interviewing other people. So uh, that gave me the idea to start a podcast. So I started the podcast actually January 6th of this year. And wow. I've had close to 100 guests on the show. Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's amazing, incredible. Right? Amazing, right? So, yeah, uh, it, it is. You know, I mean, I would yeah. agree with you 100% that uh, interviewing people and reaching out to them through the media and the technology that we have is an incredible, an incredible way to connect with people and to really learn so much. Uh, you know, I mean, every time we talk, I learn from you and all that you're doing. And, you know, it's it's crazy how we have such great opportunities out there in front of us. In fact, I was talking to Sherry, a, a mutual friend of ours, before uh, we hopped on the air here. And uh, she and I were sharing some really good information and able to you kind of sharpen each other and, and drives thought and it drives ideas, you know, that when we collaborate and work together. So such a great thing. So your podcast is mostly audio, correct? That's uh, absolutely correct. It's an audio show, but I do video guests really, you know, if they request it. Uh, that's absolutely fine. The reason why I go with audio is because audio is easier. It's more uh, comfortable. Uh, you know, when you do video, people want to watch it. And, and so they have to devote their whole entire attention to it. When it's audio, they can listen to it while doing something else, driving, changing diapers, cleaning, vacuuming, cooking. So that's why I prefer audio. Uh, but there's no, I love video podcasts as well. 
they are amazing. Uh, they are great. I do have a, a few videos. So, but uh, it's just so I can bang out a lot of episodes. I can start as many relationships as possible. And you know, my message to the world really is that if you want to be successful, you want to have a big network. Podcasting is a great way to do that. It's easy. It's free, and it's something a lot more people should look into. Uh, you know, it's a great way to start a relationship. Almost no one turns down a podcast interview request, which is a great pro- It's a great thing. <laughs> so you could go out there, start relationships with as many uh, different types of people as you want. You can do targeted networking. Yeah, you know, no, I agree. Can. So you know, it's something people should look into. Yeah, no, I agree with you. In fact, you know what's great for me is I'm able to do both video and then transition it to audio as well. So this podcast will be on all the audio platforms as well as video, which is great. You know, we broadcast every week on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on Facebook, but then it sits there. It'll also be there after we're done, like I said, because most people watch on replay, but also it'll be on iTunes and Amazon and Spotify and all that as well. Because a lot of people... I get a lot of listens on just audio. People like to listen while they're driving in their car or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I've really worked to try to gear this so it works both for video and audio, which is great. Um, and you are just so, so, uh, you're such a, a happy, personable guy. Who wouldn't want to talk to you? And, you know, speaking of that, look who joined us this morning. Hey, Luke and Russ, it's Sherry. She wanted to say hi this morning. We just were talking about her. Good to see you, oh, Sherry. Wow. She's such a great person. Hey, Sherry. Uh, How's you know, it going? She is. You know, when you, when you are turned on to people, uh, connected with people that are doing amazing things in their life and their business, it really makes us all better, right? We're better together. Absolutely. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, I, I came up with a saying because I, I love great quotes. So I decided to come up with one. Uh, the more you network, the luckier you get. And uh, people truly need to understand that. You know, I'm someone who's naturally an introvert. So it's actually not easy for me to meet other people, but I make it happen. <laughs> and I do enjoy it. And so it's something, you know, People need to understand that the luckiest, most successful people in the world have the widest and deepest networks. Uh, if you ever read the book Never Alone by Keith Ferrazzi, highly recommend that book. Uh, he talks a lot about this when uh, he came from humble roots and uh, from an Italian family. That, and they weren't rich, but he was able to network by working as, I think, a caddy in golf. And that really helped him to rise through the ranks, so to speak. He ended up going to Harvard and whatnot. So people need to understand that building solid friendships and, and networks uh, where you help them, they help you, and you engage in that law of reciprocity uh, is so important and so key to uh, success. So, uh, you know, it's it's something that people need to internalize and, and, and understand it and apply. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And, you know, really sometimes... You know, it's it's important for people to live their purpose, to stay in their lane, do what their giftings are. But at the same time, we have to stretch ourselves and sometimes move a little bit out of our comfort zone to really accomplish what we want to accomplish. And, you know, being an introvert, you're right. I mean, I'm an I'm an extrovert. It comes easy to me to talk to people and do things, but not everybody's that way. And I have another friend out of Australia. Uh, Stephen Fry and his wife Donna that I have have over the last year and a half been on this uh, journey of meeting new people. Last year, it was a new person every day. And some days they met several new people every day. And he is definitely an introvert as well. He always uh, calls himself a socially (laughs) awkward engineer. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, so the same way you were talking about Luke, You know, you can break out of that because we all need people. Like I said, we're better together. And when we collaborate and move forward together, we just make ourselves better. And you said it from the get go. You make your own luck. You make luck happen by putting one foot in front of the other and doing things. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's interesting that each person that you meet uh, on average knows at least 250 people. Uh, which is incredible. So when you meet someone new, uh, like your, your friends in Australia who met uh, 
on one new person a day or several new people a day, which is incredible, even though they're introverted. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, my hat is off to them. But when you meet a new person, that bridges you to hundreds of other people. And people need to understand that. And then that's really when the magic happens uh, when you network. And I could also add that obviously you want to do targeted networking. So if you're someone who wants to get into construction or computer science, you want to network with people who are in construction and computer science. And you'd be surprised how so many people want to help others and they want to teach others everything they know and, and whatnot. So it, uh, particularly with a platform like LinkedIn, which allows you to do targeted networking. And so I think uh, you know people need to understand this. Uh, this is how you grow and accomplish your goals and dreams by networking, by building your connections and whatnot. So uh, there's a great book uh, I recommend to people called The Go-Giver uh, by Bob Bird. And he also has another great book called Endless Referrals, uh, in which he, he talks a lot about the, the best ways to network. And definitely that's a book I base a lot of my, um, uh, I guess, philosophy of networking on. So he's someone to definitely check out on how to network effectively. Uh, and basically, uh, it's similar to, to, to D. Scott Smith's philosophy. Uh, you know, he calls, you know, you guys call yourself motivational listeners. And essentially, it's all about, you know, you want to focus on the other person. You, you want to let them talk most of the time. <laughs> You'd be surprised how people love to talk about themselves. So that's great for an introvert, of course, because introverts tend to be great listeners and don't like to talk too much. And then, you know, and then you start a friendship and people start to like it. It goes back to Dale Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Right. So uh, it's so simple, but there, not a lot of people understand and follow it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, you said some key points there. You know, I mean, number one, my my complicated marketing philosophy has always been friends help friends. And, you know, the 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 saying that has gone round and round, but is so true. People do business with people they know, like and trust. Well, I can tell you people do life with people they know, like and trust. And when you bridge the gap mm -hmm. uh, with people by connecting and then meeting people through them, that is the best way to move forward in whatever you are doing. And I think that you also um, hit hit the nail on the head when you talked about targeted marketing. There's nothing wrong with, we all only have so much time. We're, only, we're limited on how much time we have. Mm -hmm. So why not choose right. to right. build your community in an area that benefits you um, because it's good to collaborate and connect with like-minded people in like-minded industries. There's nothing wrong with that because you can you can right. send out connections right. all day long with people that could care less if they connect with you. But if you're connecting targeted uh, in a targeted way, there are going to be people that are engaged with your topic already and what you're doing already. And so mm -hmm. you've right. actually inspired me here, Luke. I, uh, was just thinking because I have been um, thinking. Are you on? Um, are you on Clubhouse? You know, it's interesting. I am on Clubhouse, but I, I don't get to go on Clubhouse often. Uh, my sister actually invited me right away, so I was very lucky. And I also have an iPhone, but I don't utilize the platform as much as I should, uh, unfortunately. But I am on Clubhouse. Yes. So I have a great idea. We need to hop on and do a yes. uh, do yes. a uh, com connecting through podcasting topic. That would be great. You and I should do something on there called connecting through podcasting and see the interest that generates. Because I think that would be a great topic that people are very interested in. Yes, yes. Absolutely. absolutely. And so, and I, so I would love, I love to do that. To do uh, I think it's exciting. Uh, think it's exciting. Um, definitely, let's talk definitely about this. I guess, this. Um, I guess after, uh, the show, after the show, whatnot. Uh, definitely, we, definitely should we should definitely set this up. This up. Uh, uh, we can uh, do it as soon as next week, or hey, even later this week, depending on your schedules. Uh, I'd love to get on Clubhouse, open up a room, and, and, and get it going on Clubhouse. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, I think that um, I think things like that. The avenues open to really pushing connection is great. And so we should take advantage of all the things that we can do. So, hey, listen, you are so great to talk with. We could go on and on, but we're actually wrapping up our time already. So what I need you to do 
is people are going to say, I have to connect with Luke. So how do people get in contact with you? Yes. Oh, it's very simple. You can find me on LinkedIn. Uh, just search for my name. If you send me a connection request, I uh, there's a 99% chance I'll accept it. Okay, it's 100%. Uh, but <laughs> So I will say yes. And uh, so definitely send me those connection requests. Uh, you can also find me on social media. Uh, the name of my podcast show is called The Deep Voice Man Show uh, because so many people say I have a deep voice and compliment me on it. So you can find me at the deep deepvoicemanshow.com. That's where my podcast is. Or you can go to deepvoiceman.com. Uh, I also have a, a Facebook page, a Twitter page, a YouTube page. Uh, uh, you name it. I'm, I'm, I'm on it. Pinterest. So you can connect with me there. Uh, so I'd love to hear from you guys. I, I'm all about networking and connecting. Please, please, please connect with me. That is so awesome. All right. Well, I've had your LinkedIn scrolling across the bottom of the page and we will make sure and get that in the show notes. And Luke, thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you know. And uh, it's just been great talking to you again. Um, you know, we we don't get enough chances to chat. So thank you so much for taking the time and uh, we'll talk to you soon. You got it. Thank you so much, Russ. This has been a blast. This has been an awesome experience. I'd love to at some point come back on the show if that's possible. Thank you so much. Definitely want to do the clubhouse thing. Uh, we, we need to get that going. And everyone who's been watching, listening, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'd love to connect with you. Thank you so much, Russ. You bet. You bet. Hang tight for just a second. I'm going to send you back to the green room. Hey, listen, everybody, that is something we are going to do. Connection through podcasting on Clubhouse. I will be putting that together. And uh, so look for that. You know, it's exciting, the new opportunities that we have. Um, and, you know, it's so nice to connect with people. And again, you know, we had our friend Sherry drop in today. And it's so nice for her to drop in and the people that are watching. I know a ton of you watch and don't comment or do anything. But when you're here, comment and say hi and share this with your friends. Share the, the gold nuggets and the great information that you get uh, on Marketing with Russ, because, you know, we're all about how amazing people connect. And again, Luke is definitely one of those people. So every Monday and Thursday, Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Until next time, have a great day and a great life. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. Be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss a single episode. Have an amazing day.